Hi, I'm Kim Jamison Hurst of Chatterbox Quilts. Today I wanted to talk to you about my Singer 1591. Now, I already have a Singer 1591, it's true, so this is the second addition to my stable of vintage sewing machines. But I'll tell you why I got this one and how I got this one. I was supposed to be going to a quilt show north of Calgary, but instead I went south of Calgary about two hours to Lethbridge to pick up this sewing machine. And I was intrigued by the combination of the portable 1591 and the table that it came in. So this machine is very similar to my Singer 99 as far as how it looks, the combination of a portable machine and a cabinet. The difference being that this 1591 is much, much bigger than the ni Singer 99 and it's much, much heavier too. So here's the machine itself. So it's hard to get scale until you start looking at the size of the Bentwood case that came with it. It's absolutely huge. And the machine is quite heavy. So even though it is theoretically portable, it's very heavy. It's not something that I would carry around or take to retreats. But it fits very nicely in the cabinet. And the cabinet is very similar to the Singer 99 cabinet. It, it looks exactly the same. The only difference is it's about two or three inches longer. And there is more cutout space in the middle for the machine. On the 99, I have much more flat, contiguous surface to use around the machine. Of course, that's due to the size of the 1591. So this machine came with a domestic attachment box. So it didn't come with the typical Singer attachment box and it is missing several feet. It has a few in there, but not very many. It does have the key to the cabinet. So to the case, I should say. So that's great because you don't always get those. And it came with a couple of interesting little things in it. So I didn't know what this was at first until I pulled it out. And there's one on either side here. I gotta be a little careful of these. So what this is, is on this side is a needle threader. Now, I don't think these work anymore. I think part of it's broken off. I haven't actually tried it yet, but that's what that would normally do. And this side, as you can see, looks like a razor blade. So that's a seam ripper. So there's two of them in this particular case. So that's rather interesting. I hadn't seen those before. And that's that came with this particular machine. So it's green box, but it's not Singer. It's another brand. So when I got this machine, I did try it out, although the wiring wasn't in the best shape. It was cracked in places. So we did have to put some heat shrink tubing on the wire from the motor down into the plug area there. And there's some uh, electrical tape on the cord that goes down into the foot pedal, but it ran just fine. It's in good shape. The one thing about this particular machine is that the lady who had it before must have been a smoker because the metal parts on the machine were quite yellowed and it took me quite a bit of work to get the uh, discoloration off some of the like the face plate on it for example so it looks much better now it runs along just fine no problems and it's another great addition to my stable of vintage sewing machines